Hi, today we are going to explain the American action-adventure fantasy film named Hercules. A very cute baby is born at the beginning of the movie. She names him Hercules. The people of that time worshipped their god named Zeus, and this baby is said to be a demigod, the son of Zeus. In contrast, Zeus's wife is the queen who knows that this baby is in the flesh and blood of Zeus, and it belongs to the people. Here, Hercules has grown very little. She wants to kill him so she sends two snakes for this purpose. As the son of Zeus, he is just as strong as he is. He kills two snakes before they attack. Now, Hercules has become an adult. The king of this state gave him a mission. Hercules is brave enough to take on these assigned tasks. Therefore, he began to face the tasks one by one to complete them. He attacks a creature for the first time and defeats it. Later, he also defeats many other creatures by facing them. One day, he faced a deadly lion. Not a single arrow hurt him. But Hercules ended it too, using her powers. Next, a place is shown where a boy is tied up by people. He is the grandson of Hercules. Then Hercules goes there, killing everyone there. He saves his nephew. Then Hercules was shown, sitting in one place. The daughter of the king of another state approached it. She said, we need you. Our people have betrayed us. War is everywhere. As a result, people get fired. One said, sitting with Hercules, we don't have time right now, but we can help you if you show a large amount. This princess said to them, what an honor to join the battle. Hercules declares, we need money for our arms. This princess said, my father king is rich who can give you a lot of gold. Okay. Hercules goes with him to his kingdom. There was a large permanent statue belonging to the wife of Zeus. Princess tells Hercules, it took five years to make. Here, no one believes because he is the son of Zeus. But Hercules is like a legend to this princess's son. King explains to him, our best companion has rebelled while deceiving. And wars have been declared throughout the kingdom since that time. So we need your help to restore everything. He also says that this person is not an ordinary person but a wizard. And no one can defeat it but God. He also reveals that. There are centaurs and his soldiers. Now a girl asked who came in the Hercules. Team where are these creatures? The king answered. We are not witnesses to them and we do not know their whereabouts. We just heard about it. Hercules and his companions are currently training the king's army. Because they have no warriors. Hercules asks them. Stand up like a retaining wall. Then a companion of Hercules ran towards them. And he broke their wall, running towards him. Hercules told them, the shield wall is too weak. This way you will be defeated. Hercules trained troops here. The opposition is revealed to be heading towards them for war. Hercules asks them to avoid war. Know it? Because he said, there will be nothing left for us after the war. But the king of this state said, there will be peace here as soon as possible. We will put an end to it. Now that it's shown at night, the princess's son comes to Hercules who considers him his legend. He told her I am your admirer. When I get older, I'll be just like you. Hercules is shown wearing his locket around this child's neck to remove it. He told her I wanted to give it to my son. Now I give it to you? All headed to this place, where they faced the opposing king. Along the way, they witnessed the heads of naked humans drooping. The king said, this rebellious king came here before us. He kills people here to instill fear in us. Hercules suggests, we'll walk from here, and all begin to walk. But Hercules commented that these were not recent murders but several days ago. It is a conspiracy against them to divert their attention. Then they were surrounded by some of the tribesmen. Hercules was shocked and he thought, they surrounded us even though we protected them. Here it is revealed that the opposing king once empowered the brains of these people to become a wizard. Here these tribes attack Hercules and his companions. There was a great battle between them, and Hercules boldly faced them, and he beat them all. Now the king of this place is sad, because all his soldiers have been killed. Hercules said to him, I suggested to you that now is not the time for war. I still have to train them. The king agreed with him. But we see that Hercules began to live in depression, losing sleep at night. He has nightmares when his family is gone, and he also dreamed of a three-headed creature. Hercules says one of the people, I was chatting with a creature before I got here, the bearer of divine messages to man, and he also predicts the future. I have been told you will have to complete your imperfect quest. Disturbed. Hercules paid little heed to what was said. Hercules with a wife and three children were killed, and all the blame fell on him. That's why he was exiled. Either way, they reach the opposing king. It seems that Hercules' apprentice army will be defeated without a perfect fight. Fortunately, 
They won the battle. It is now shown that the opposing king is moving towards Hercules, so he can kill him, immediately. Hercules unexpectedly enslaved him, falling off his horse. He presented himself to the king after enslaving him. This opposing king says, You do not bind me. I do not destroy your state. Hercules asks, Who is to blame if you are not the one to blame? The rebel king said, The king with whom you fight. Why not have your army with him, if he is commendable and mighty? And why does he need yours? This king is not just someone you fight. An occasion held on the night the king ascended the throne, because he extended his kingdom everywhere. Here, the opposing king was also chained. Everyone laughed at him, but the princess did not feel happy to witness that. She pitied this disadvantageous king. Hercules observed all these events. He asked the princess as he walked towards her, Why is it like this? Why do you feel sorry for him? You can reveal the truth in front of me, she said. My husband is the king of this country, where he takes the throne. But my father took over the kingdom and poisoned my husband. And this captive king is my husband's different man. So he turned against my father and war broke out. She says that the opposing king is innocent even if he is not our opponent. My father is guilty behind this. But I can't go against my father because of my grandson. Who is under his watch? She asked him. Take my son from here. And make him like you after practice. Here the king's special man comes and tells Hercules. King is calling you. Now Hercules goes to the king. The king said to him. I am very glad that you make the ordinary army win after you have taught it master tactics. Behold, I am king. That army will train others for war, and I will expand my kingdom throughout the world with the passage of the time. You are reason behind it. Will you be the distinct man of mine? Hercules refuses it. King said, All right, all what you want. Okay, I'll give you the gold and then you can go. As king, I don't need people like you. Now Hercules and his gang depart, reclaiming their gold. He then observes the villagers in his environment. They look depressed, because they don't want Hercules to disappear. Because Hercules taught them how to live. Hercules threw down the gold wallets, saw them, and announced that I would stay here. Because the villagers need me. One of the Hercules companions said, What are you doing? Chapter. We have gold, so we have to get out of here. But Hercules' other companions throw away their gold and prefer to stay with him. Except this one. He leaves there, taking his gold. Now Hercules' companions went straight to the king's chamber, but the king's men surrounded them. Here the princess and her son were also present. Now the man who is different from the king informs him that your daughter is asking for Hercules. Bring my son with you. Hearing this, the king took his daughter's daughter from her. Here the king's men attack Hercules and he loses consciousness. Searching for his senses, he finds himself heavily chained. Then the king of this state came to the place where Hercules had grown up. Hercules participates in many battles for him while assisting him. But he also cheated here, pledging to this king that we will rule the world together. He also brought three black wolves, and their howls were like the Hercules dreamed. He thought, I've heard the same screams when my wife and children died. That means he is responsible behind it. Hercules asked them, what is the reason for doing this? And the king of the state where Hercules grew up said to Hercules, I am the king of the state. Why are you famous among people for your adventures and daring? I can't kill you and I have no choice. I accuse you of letting the natives hate you and attract me. Knowing this, Hercules is very angry but he cannot move because he is chained. Here we see that this king planned to kill them one by one. At first, he started killing his own daughter because of this. Hercules is confused when they see him. His companions encourage him by saying, You can do it? What will happen to us if you lose faith? Hearing it, Hercules is motivated and he breaks these shackles, freeing himself. He immediately ran to the princess and saved her. Now three wolves attack Hercules, moving towards him, but he finishes three times brilliantly. He freed his companions and the poor king whom they considered their enemies. Two wicked kings have fled from here. One way or another, Hercules captures this king in the state in which he grew up. He stabbed him to death, the same way he killed his family. Then he went to the palace, taking his companions with him. He witnessed the king standing there with his armed forces. While the king's men pointed daggers at the neck of the princess's son aside, king ordered this child to be executed. But Hercules' companion approached it, who went away, taking the gold. He immediately shot an arrow at this child's tormentor. They saved this little child. But the king's armed forces began to attack them. Hercules faced them equally. In the meantime, Hercules' companion was at last mortally wounded. 
Now the rest of this king's armed forces were moving towards them. But we see that Hercules' men have built an indestructible wall. Hercules noticed a colossal statue of the wife of Zeus there. Hercules drops this statue as the king's armed forces move upwards. The armed forces begin to withdraw. Seeing him, the king angrily said, Let's finish Hercules? But this statue fell on him and the king was crushed to death. And all the king's armed forces and others knelt before Hercules. Seeing his audacity, people still doubt whether he is the son of Zeus. But that doesn't matter. He kept the ranking above the rest because he was strong and daring. He used to take care of people. So people started to admire Hercules. And the movie is completed with